Here are some notes on acute colonic pseudo-obstruction, also called Agile V syndrome. This is an acute dilation of the colon, mainly the cecum and right hemicolon, without anatomic obstruction. Demographics, it typically happens in men that are greater than 60 years old, more common in hospitalized patients with severe illness and post-surgical patients. Symptoms, patients have gradual abdominal distension that happens over three to seven days typically. People can have a tympanic abdomen. They have present bowel sounds and mild tenderness as possible. They usually don't have peritoneal signs and don't have fever. Patients can complain of mild abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, constipation, or diarrhea. The diagnosis can be made with a CT abdomen that shows proximal colonic dilation, as shown in the background here. There's often a transition zone near the splenic flexure, and there's no mechanical obstruction. That was the definition, without anatomic obstruction. The management of acute colonic pseudo-obstruction is first with IV neostigmine. This helps promote bowel motility. You can also do support, supportive care. You want to remove any precipitating causes. You want to stop any motility reducing medications like opioids. You want to avoid laxatives once you already have it. And uh, you can do GI decompression. Surgical indications include colonic ischemia, perforation, and peritonitis. To prevent getting this to begin with, you can do daily polyethylene glycol after the resolution. Polyethylene glycol is like Miralax. One key complication is colonic perforation, and the risk of colonic perforation increases with the duration and degree of distension.